So this is a demo of uh, the diagrams feature in Rome um, that was requested by some folks who had been previously playing around with Scrapple. Um, uh, I, um, yeah, uh, as a word of warning, this is one of our most like prototypey features, but um, it seems worth showing off anyways. Um, so the first thing that I will do um, is if I want to create a diagram, I just put colon diagram like that. Um, and these diagrams you can then uh, view in full screen. And um, let's close this block for a second. Um, and basically you point and double click to create nodes. And all of these um, are just, uh, let me actually have to open the sidebar again. Um, all of these are just uh, blocks that are nested under the diagram block. Um, so uh, if I hit enter, this creates a new block. Um, but the thing about these diagrams is that they will also let you um, use all the other functionality of Rome. So I could say I'm interested in um, linking in my endorsements. And now I could, I could click this and like go to the endorsements page. Maybe I can shift click it. Um, and that'll actually open up uh, all those, um, like shift clicking a link in Rome will show you the, the link to that page in the sidebar. Um, and if I click back, uh, I'm right back to the, to the diagram. Um, so uh, here's actually a, um, this, this shows a, a use case of um, how like block references, well, first I'll just show how drag and drop works. Um, so anywhere in Rome, uh, I, could, I could drag an item on the endorsements page um, and we've collected a couple of you know, links from people. Um, so I can just drag and drop uh, an image um, from, you know, uh, from like any, any other, yeah, from my desktop. Um, and I can just place it in a bullet point and it will actually, um, upload that image and just create a regular image URL link. Um, also you can copy and paste, uh, whole like web pages into Rome, uh, and it'll include those images as well. And then these blocks you can also take notes on, um, which might make them easier to find in the future. So let's try something tricky. Um, here and I'm not exactly sure how this will work, um, but uh, yeah. So in Rome, if I want to have like one block um, or like one bullet point be uh, referenced throughout my database or embedded throughout my database, um, then I can type double friends and this will let me uh, open up an autocomplete for searching for a particular block. Um, so here I want to search for Alex Zhu, and then I can see oh, affordances image right there. Um, so this is just going to reference this block. Um, which means it's not going to embed any of the, the sort of children in here. Um, but let's see how they, that handles some things. Uh, actually, not so well. I, I think even if I open it up, um, yeah, the references, when we reference things that have images, that's, that doesn't handle it quite as well as I want it to. I wonder if what happens if I would, um, rather than having these inline, if I hit Shift Enter, um, that makes it a little bit better. Okay, cool. Um, so now I can just click and I can resize this this uh, this this container for this um, for this block, and now I can drag it around in the diagram if I can find the right place to drag it. So yeah, so this is what this is going to do is this now if I if I click this because it's a a um, if I like zoom in oh I can zoom in with the the standard way you zoom in. So I'm I'm on a trackpad and I like to pinch. I think you can also like control up and down um, on the trackpad or the mouse. If I hold the control key, I can like zoom in and zoom out. Um, yeah, if I want to move the thing around, I have to sort of click into it. Um, and then these links, uh, if I click that, it'll just bring up the, the original block on the endorsements page. Um, and so that, that, that will show that in the block outline. Or I can just look for the page I have for Alex Zoo. And I can click here and I can see that there was one mention of Alex Zoo. Um, that shows off our backlinks. Um, so yeah, but I'm supposed to show off Scrapple, right? So here are a couple of things that are just for diagrams. Um, yeah, the, the, the whole idea here is that you want, if you're building a repository of all your knowledge, if you're building in, you know, your own, like Rome is, Rome is a place for mapping out all your thoughts. 
um, and, uh, you know, like basically like keeping all the information that you're trying to keep track of or, or mapping out, you know, what you believe and why you believe it. Um, uh, and, you know, doing this sort of dynamic cross-referencing stuff. Um, uh, so, you know, the whole idea here is that you can use this diagramming tool for like visually laying out a bunch of things, um, but every component of it, all the text that you write, um, is also like searchable or, you know, cross-linkable or discoverable from, from other places in your database. Um, so, yeah, so if I, if I want to draw arrows between things, um, if I hold down the option key, uh, I can draw arrows. And again, this is like a, a prototype feature. So, you know, the little arrow head isn't always in, in exactly the right place. Um, sometimes it's in it's better position than in other times. Um, it looks really good when they're right next to each other, but yeah, this is this is an early feature. Um, so yeah, holding down the option key will let me do an arrow. Um, also, if I want to say that like, well, let's say I wanted to, to um, let me open that sidebar again, uh, open right sidebar. Um, let's say I just wanted to drop an item straight into here. So, um, and place it in right away, just directly into that, that, uh, here I'm gonna I'm gonna drop drag it in and then when I'm dragging I'm gonna look for uh, you know if I dragged it here it's gonna be a child of this block um, you know and then if I indent it um, it'll show up over here um, uh, and yeah images are, are kind of finicky because I am probably gonna want to resize that so I can get the whole thing um, uh, but actually, I've already pasted this one in, so let's let's get rid of that one. Um, and I'm just I use uh, Control A to go to the beginning of the line and Control K to delete it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna drag in a, an image I had from Apple Notes. Um, so there we go. Again, I've got to resize it. Um, it's a big image, so yeah. Um, and then I'm going to zoom back out so I can get this whole thing. Also, I could always, if I was like zoomed in too close, I can just hit this thing and it'll bring everything into, into view. Um, and yeah, let's make sure that these things are all, what's going on here? Oh yeah, I guess I must have deleted this block. Um, okay, so I deleted the content of that block that I had resized, but I had not actually deleted the block, so it was still showing up as an image. Um, so yeah, so that's that's the basic stuff. Um, I can drag and drop images in here. I can use all the like standard features of Rome, so I can like reference things. Um, I can like call up a, a quote, right? Um, and then that'll bring in the whole quote from somewhere else. So, but again, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to you know for those things which are which are really big, I am gonna have to resize it currently. Um, and actually that's a good, it's a good thing to notice that like inline references might not be wrapping. Um, so maybe don't do that. Maybe don't, we'll, we'll, we'll work on that one. Uh, but then the last thing that I'll show is just if I want to collect a bunch of these into a container, um, I can hold the, uh, like option key and drag out a rectangle. And this is going to create a container block. Maybe I make this the container for my um, endorsements, right? And then I can just drag the container, and it'll drag every item that is touching the container. So um, it's it's basically making this thing sticky. And uh, you know, I can put the things in it, or even if I just put them over it. Um, uh, now I can now I can drag that, and I can drag it around and sort of like collect the things, um, make that sticky. Uh, and if I want to select things and delete them, um, I can just shift click on something to multi-select it. Um, let's see, let's make sure. Yeah, so I can I can shift click on these two and they're outlined in red. Now I can drag them both at the same time. Um, or I can shift drag to draw this little red circle and then I can delete um, all three of those things at once. Um, and that will also delete them from this this block outline over here. So that's basically um, that's basically the gist of how you can do 
these kinds of like visual layout things um, uh, in Rome and still have all of your thoughts um, be, you know, connected. Um, uh, and it's an early feature, so if you end up using it, just tell us what, uh, you know, what's annoying and what's good and what you want. Because, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's very prototype right now. Uh, thanks.